Welcome to BanjoBenClark.com. I'm Banjo Ben, your host here on the website to teach you how to play banjo, of course, but also guitar and mandolin. This is our third and final week of this series for Good King West Coast Law. We've learned this classic Christmas tune in a build a break uh, lesson format. And what that means is we're going to start with the extreme stripped down basic melody. Then we're going to add a little bit on to make it more complex and then finally end up with more of an advanced break. So this is great for folks uh, that just want to start out because you can see how I would build a break. And then also those of you who are more advanced, you have some cool licks to learn. If you're watching this on Facebook or YouTube, here in a moment, I'll ask you to come over to the website, BanjoBenClark.com. You can jump over there and as a Gold Pick member, you can download the tabs. Uh, the MP3 jam tracks have three different speeds. For this lesson, as well as hundreds of others, I've got about a 30 minute video lesson that accompanies it that I show you how to play everything and also why I use those licks, why I use those rolls. All right, so without further ado, let's jump right into K Good King uh, Whippoorwill. Let's do a build a break banjo lesson for Good King Worcestershire. This is a great old Christmas tune. We're going to start out with a very basic melody. <laughs> And then we're going to move on to add some rolls and some fillers. And then we're going to add some licks just to create more of a custom lesson. So this one's a lot of fun because uh, we're going to learn three different solos, but also you're going to see how I build that. That's kind of the point of the Build a Break series. Um, now let's, let's go ahead and throw out the first line of tab. A couple things I want to point out. We are in the key of G, just standard G tuning, no capo. As we start with this basic melody, uh, we're just going to have quarter notes and half notes here, so there's nothing complicated about the rhythm. And then you'll notice the little symbols in the circles beneath each one of the notes. So those are our pick finger indications. So we're only using thumb on this first line, so all of those are T's. But if we were using our index finger, there would be a one. And if we were using our middle, there would be a two. Now we've got this little walk in there in that first measure, which is actually measure two, because here in the PDF, we don't show the count in measure, but we've got this little walk in that starts on beat two, walking up to where the melody actually starts in that measure three. So we're gonna start on that low D string. Very simple. And then we get into the measure three there, and we have four beats. And we're gonna do everything with our thumb there on the third string. Bum, 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 bum. And again, you can start uh, stay in this a second position meaning that our index finger is going to hover over the second fret. That way we can use our ring finger to play that fourth fret. And measure four, we have two notes here and then we jump down, back down to that fourth string and that note down there um, in measure four is a half note. It gets two beats. And the way on the tab that you can tell the half notes is the stem doesn't come up through the staff there. The stem of the notes stops short. So measure four is one, two, three, four. Measure five, we're going to finger that with our index finger. One, two, three, four. And then measure six, there has two half notes. One, two, three, four. So everything's happening with our thumb. And it's important to learn this basic melody because we're going to use this basic melody uh, to continue to build out our solos. Let me play this first line for you slowly, and we'll do it much slower later on. One, two, three. Measure seven, we have a repeat of the melody that we just played. So measure seven through 10 are the exact same as measures three through six. One, two, 
two, three, four. Now we're going to finally use some other fingers here. We're going to jump up measure 11 with our middle finger and play that open first string and then come right down the G major scale. And I'm going to choose to play that third string with, there at the end with my thumb. Measure 12, our chord changes up to an E minor chord, which sounds interesting. We're going to uh, come back down the scale again. One, two, three, four. And then I'm going to shift back up and use my index finger here in measure 13. We've seen this lick before. One, two, three, four. And then measure 15, the final phrase of the song starts. We're going to start down here on the fourth string. Walk up. Dum, bum, bum. 17, back down the scale. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Measure 19, that's a big old whole note. Gets four beats. And then measure 20 is we're going to have another walk-in into measure 21 where we do our second version of the melody, which is very interesting. If you're watching here on the website, we're going to take a short break to play through that whole basic melody solo very slowly.